like like how he said you can um oh oh uh, this again is 15 and a half mm -hmm. maybe we can measure from here to here and we can add it but that's what one of your classmates said right yes that's what she said oh. that's what no. she said she said going like this <laughs> this measure and then measure the from here to here. Okay. And then you can add it. And then we can add it. Okay. What if this did not exist? You can take it back to your table with you, please. If this did not exist, we didn't have a ruler. We don't have a yardstick. The ruler and yardstick monster came and took them all away. We don't have any more. He came for Halloween. He took them all. Gone. Now, I'm still stuck with my problem. I still don't know what to do. I still haven't figured out which one is longer. All right? What I want you to do, discuss it. Figure out how would you know which one of these is longer. And then one person is going to report to me. One person is going to let me know what your team thinks. Okay? The best strategy or the best way to figure out which one of these lines is the longest. Do we understand the instruction? Yeah. The students need to take ownership and figure it out for themselves. They used the tools that they felt were the best for the activity. They were given pencils, string, yardsticks, all those things were made available to them. However, there was no right or wrong tool to use. So I left it up to them in order to figure it out. And once they figured out which tool worked best for them, then I just supported them in that decision and allowed them to make their own decisions. Yeah. We can we might just use the string mm -hmm. and, and measure it or the, or the tip of your nail to your first quarter of your okay. knuckle. If we were to, that's, oh, a, that's, yeah. a, that's an inch. Yeah. So we can measure it like that. Oh. Or we could just measure it with a with a string. Like numbers yeah. too. Make it like a protractor. Yeah. So look at the string. Imagine this is the bottom line, right there. And then if it was string, and then if we were straightening it up, the top one would be on it. Straight. As I estimated the size of the first paper, and it was going to be larger than the second one. Okay, so your conjecture was what? That when I saw the first paper, I saw it, and I saw like the sizes, and I knew it was going to be bigger than that. I mean, larger than the other one. Okay, and how did you get to the answer? How did you get to that answer? Um, this one, we just used the artist and this one, we, um, we used the string, and then we um, measured the string, and we um, got our answer, which was 74 and a half was less than 94 inches.